Hey guys, Break here, and with the new data mine stuff for the professions in patch 8.1 coming out, I thought I'd give you guys my opinion on the different changes coming to professions in patch 8.1, what the changes are, and what I think will happen to the prices as a result. So starting off with alchemy, and the major change is through the anchor weed, and basically the amount of anchor weed you need to make a flask has gone down from five to three for the rank three of the flasks. And for the other ranks, it's also gone down as well. Basically, you need less anchor weed to make your flasks. Now, this obviously means the price of anchor weed will probably go down. So if you've got a massive store of it, then I wouldn't hang on to it for too much longer because, you know, the major reason it's needed was through the flasks. And because the amount needed is going down, the price is likely to go down as well. And this isn't really surprising. Anchor weed was a bit ridiculous and going a bit crazy in price. So it's no wonder they reduced it to stop raiders spending all the gold they have just on flasks. So moving on to blacksmithing and something rather interesting is happening with all of the gear crafting professions and basically this new sinister combatant gear is coming out. So as we have the PvP gear right now, a kind of new season of PvP that will probably happen in 8.1 is bringing with it new gear and this is very very interesting. So right now on Wowhead it says that this gear is 300 item level and if it is that's going to be really annoying but that doesn't really make sense to me because we already have PvP gear that is 300 item level. Right now in game you can make the honourable combatant stuff and it's a bit useless, I mean 300 item level already even though we're so early in the expansion it's really not that good, you can get better, way better from world quests, way better from anything else in the game and that's why the profit just isn't really there on a lot of items. And as I've said in the past, you can still get profit from these, especially if you get some good stats. But realistically, it's not as good and it's nowhere near as good as it was in Legion when we had the Obliterum system, which helped you upgrade your gear. And because we can't upgrade this stuff, it makes it really, really bad. So my major hope is this new PvP gear is going to be high item level, at least 350. And that's going to make a big, big difference. Now, in terms of the materials needed to create this gear, Wowhead is again bugged with that and we don't yet know the exact materials needed. Whether it will be the same, will there be some new ore that comes out, will it just be more of the same ore, nobody really knows. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see and like I say I just really hope that this gear is not 300 item level like the placeholder says and is at least 350 and if it is 350 it's going to make gear great again or maybe not great but it's going to make gear a bit more relevant again which would be nice. So next up we have enchanting and enchanting do get a new pet which is pretty cool the enchanted tiki mask so that should be good I don't think it's going to sell for a huge amount unless the reagents are really crazy or something but at least that's something nice for enchanters and then everything else is just general stuff they are getting one new sword or weapon the new combatants one the scepter which is kind of cool and then the rest of it is just changing materials. Umbra Shard basically goes down from 4 to 3 for some things or from 6 to 4 depending on what it is. So the amount of Umbra Shard has just been decreased. And that kind of makes sense. I have seen Umbra Shards going up in price recently at least on my server. Haven't checked the general trends. But they do seem to have quite a high price. So I guess again they're just trying to make raiding a bit cheaper for raiders in general. And it kind of makes sense that they'll get that down. I don't think the price of Umbra Shard will drop too much but it might do a little bit so just be wary of that. And as of right now on Wowhead they have the reagents for the Enchanted Tiki Mask and if they stay like this then this pet is going to be pretty much worthless. Five Umbra Shards, 20 Gloom Dust and one Expulsum. It just seems almost pointless to put something in the game that is just this easy to make so hopefully they make it a lot harder to make and it will be worth a bit more but who knows really. So engineering, these guys also have pretty similar things in terms of just the materials needed to craft certain items have gone down a bit. So the monolite ore going down from 8 to 5 or 10 to 6 depending on your rank. That's all just pretty average. Also the new PvP gear for engineers. So again hopefully that item level is going to be good enough to make it relevant. And then the very interesting thing is this unstable temporal time shifter. So this thing is very interesting, it was actually added back in the beta of the game and it's now making a reappearance in patch 8.1 and basically it gives engineers a combat res or a chance of a combat res. 
So for Mythic Plus and even raids, this could be fairly useful, but especially Mythic Plus, say you're running without a combat res. Well, now if you're an engineer, you'll be able to use these to get one. So the annoying thing is that it does require culture and engineering, which is kind of expected, I guess, it would be a bit OP otherwise, but it means it is going to limit the sort of viability of these for selling because you can only sell to engineers. A lot of people were hoping that this would be like the new pylon, failure detection pylon, which was a big seller for Mythic Plus in Legion, and it hasn't made a comeback yet. And this won't quite be as good as that, I don't think. Like I say, it does require engineering, but this still should be sellable, and this still should be interesting to see and interesting to use. But if this is sellable, it will be kind of interesting to see what happens, like I say. If you've got some lazy engineers on your server or something, you can maybe sell this to them because it will be fairly useful. So next up we have inscription and again, not much is changing. There is just a new contract for the honor bound slash seventh legion. Don't know why there wasn't one already, but anyway, there is, but I don't think this will change prices too much. Really. It's just kind of going to stay the same because most people have the rep and if they don't, I don't think it's going to vary too much. The new PvP gear again, a new random song that they give to the scribe sometimes, and the new Vantus rune, obviously. Again, like I say, always with Vantus runes. I really liked how they did it at the start of Legion when each boss had a specific Vantus rune, because that kind of gave a bit of variation, and it meant if you sort of crafted all of them and you took your crafting really seriously and covered the auction house with them, they could vary in price and you can maybe get some better sales. Since they've just changed it to one Vantus rune, the profit just hasn't seemed to be there. At least on my servers, the profit's been rubbish and I don't really like the way they just do the one Vantus rune. But anyway, that is coming. Jewel crafting, there is literally nothing apart from the one new staff that's coming, the new PvP staff. And same with leatherworking, it's just the new PvP leatherworking gear and a scarlet herring lure. And this is fairly interesting. It basically gives you a better chance of getting midnight salmon when you're fishing. So it's kind of weird that they're attaching leatherworking and fishing and kind of putting them together. So if you're a major fisher and you just love fishing and you make all your gold from fishing, now you may want, well, want to get leatherworking because this is really going to help you. Midnight salmon does sell for quite a lot. And it is fairly expensive to make. As you can see, 30 expulsum, 15 hydro core, and you can't sell it. So it's basically going to be for the fishers. You may want to get leather working and get this onto your fishing pole. And if you want to get midnight salmon, that's going to be useful for you. And in terms of tailoring, there is nothing really too interesting. Just all the new PVP gear, resilient spell thread. That's the same as the stirrups for blacksmithing and for leather working. So tailors also get that. And it's just the general PVP gear. Like I say, I just really hope this is a higher item level than the 300 that is, it's just saying baseline. So we don't know what item level it is yet, but I hope it's not 330 or something irrelevant. I hope it's, you know, 350 or something that actually would be good and will get us some sales. And then last up is cooking. Now cooking has just been changed and the midnight salmon costs, just like happening with everything. They're trying to make raiding less expensive because they probably think people have been quitting the game because they don't have enough gold to raid. Lots of people have been complaining. Preach Gaming has been complaining about that kind of thing. So they're lowering the Midnight Salmon from 5 to 2, so quite significantly for the feasts and 2 to 1. So the Midnight Salmon price has already gone down loads and it's just going to go down even more probably because of this. So again, if you're stocking up on any Midnight Salmon, now is the time to get rid. Anyway guys, that is about that. If you want my honest opinion, I'm not super keen on the changes because I really wanted them to make professions really, really relevant again and really cool and I don't think professions have much depth this expansion and the only thing that has depth in the professions is the whole upgrading to get your like 370 380 piece of gear that you can get if you have one of those crafting professions but since you can't sell that gear you know it's, it doesn't matter for gold makers it's not something really relevant for gold makers and there doesn't seem to be any depth to the gold making which is very annoying so at the start of the expansion I did kind of like the whole expulsion thing and how you could basically trade expulsion between your alts by kind of scrapping any materials you know making a load of braces on one character sending them to your tailorer or your enchanter and then scrapping them and then getting the expulsion to make something else i kind of liked how that happened but now i don't know i just don't think there's enough depth and you can see it in the prices because the pricing for a lot of the professions just isn't really there 
On some lower pop servers, you can still make quite good gold with a few things, but it's not as good, in my opinion, as it was in Legion, and I really hope they can do something about that. And I really hope, like I say, that this new PvP gear is a high item level, like 350 or something, and we can do something cool with it. Or can they please bring back the Obliterum thing, and can they please bring back gear upgrading, because that was fun as well, and I really liked how that worked and how that made professions relevant throughout the whole of Legion. Anyway, that's my opinion, guys. Let me know what you think. Have you liked professions so far? What do you think of the changes? There doesn't seem to be anything really for gold making that we need to worry about, apart from just lowering the costs of certain things, and hopefully this PvP gear will make a difference. But let me know, guys. Thanks for watching, and until next time, see ya.